On Sunday, October 20th, 2024, at around 2 o'clock p.m., I went to the living room to relax and to sleep and to sleep on the couch during the afternoon. When I lay down, suddenly the Lord gave me a vision of Barack Obama standing on the podium on stage in front of the audience at the United Nations headquarters. He appeared on television and on social media addressing to all people and making an address to all people in America and around the world. He was wearing a dark navy blue suit with white button down dress shirt and with blue and white and gray striped tie on him. I did not hear what he is saying to the audience, but the Lord revealed to me that he is sharing his vision that he wants to create a one world government and the one world military police system or the beast system that will create peace and security and safety towards America and around the world and that he wants to restore and to gain control over all people and all citizens and all neighborhoods and even streets everywhere in the city. He wanted peace so bad that he told everyone that he is the one who saved the world away from missiles attempting to hit and to destroy Amer America and all nations. And that he is also the one who stopped the violence and the corruptions against all people towards the streets and the neighborhoods and towards America and all around the world during the disappearance of millions and billions of people who vanished without a trace. And those things will happen after the rapture of the church. Plus, he wanted peace and security and safety unto Israel and the Middle East, and that he is the one who will create a seven-year peace treaty to establish peace and to gain more peace and safety and security unto Israel and the Middle East government. And unfortunately, that seven-year peace treaty is totally a false seven-year peace treaty that he will lie to Israel and the Middle East about creating, about creating that peace treaty unto them and the Middle East. And that all he wants is Israel to gain control over Israel and the Middle East. So once again, that seven-year peace treaty is totally a false peace treaty and that it will only last in the first three and a half years in Israel and in Middle East. And plus the seven-year peace treaty that he created for Israel and the Middle East will be the start of the seven-year tribulation, including Jacob's trouble, where the whole world, including America and Israel and the Middle East, will not just have peace and safety and security, but will also have sudden chaos and destructions that will come unto America and all nations except Israel. So please read First, Thess read First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, including the rest of First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Because the Bible stated that when, peace, when people want peace and safety and security, then suddenly destruction comes unto them. So it shows that without Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, who brings peace and safety unto us, without Him in our lives, then people without Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior will all of a sudden have, not just have peace and safety and security, but will also have sudden destructions that will come upon them because they kept denying Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and that the wrath of God begins to bring sudden destruction and chaos unto them but that God is still waiting for all of them to repent immediately before chaos and destructions and downfalls comes and hits them. So God will remove his hands off of America and all nations except Israel and that God will not protect America and all the nations anymore because of sins, disobedience against God, supporting murder and abortions idolizing all men and women of idols 
and clean statues of idols, even supporting Pride Month with homosexuals and all sexual immorality, and even mocking and scoffing against God and against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, including the Holy Spirit and the kingdom of God in heaven, including teaching falsely against Jesus Christ and using false teachings and demonic doctrines of demons, and that these false prophets and false teachers still teach falsely against the gospel of Jesus Christ and still making everyone to practice and to worship and to support and to love all ungodly sins, including Satan and all demon spirits. And plus, God will still take his hands off of America and all nations because America and all nations have denied Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, including repentance and salvation. And they still mock and scoff and blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, against the kingdom of God, against Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, against God the Father who creates the heaven and the earth, and against all angels, including the kingdom of God in heaven. And this will definitely, definitely be terrible to America and to all nations, that they will face major chaos and major destructions from the wrath of God to come during the seven year tribulation. So back in the vision, the Lord also revealed to me that he will, that Barack Obama will share his idea to the audience of having a one world currency where people will have digital currency with them and that he developed a microchip or the mark of the beast for everyone to, to take it and to plant it on his and her right hand and on their foreheads for security reasons and for digital currency unto them, including using it to work at jobs and to buy or sell things. Then he wanted a one world religion, which the one world false prophet wanted that as well, where all worldly religion comes together as one people and as one group together, and that he is planning to ban all Bibles and all Christianity off of the earth during the seven year tribulation. And of course, I just want to let y'all know that the rapture is real and that we as born again Christians with the Holy Spirit will be gone forever until, until the Antichrist makes those things to happen and that he will ban all Bibles and ban all Christianity. Of course, lukewarm Christianity and even um, tribulation saints he will ban all of them off of this earth and that he will use the one world military police force to search for them and to capture them and to bring them to jail. And the same thing that the Antichrist is controlling all people and making all people to go against Christianity and then throwing away Bibles and burning them into the fire during the seven year tribulation. Those things will happen. And because he will say all of these things to everyone at the United Nations headquarters. Therefore, Barack Obama is still number 44 as former president of the United States. And that after the rapture of the church and during the seven year tribulation, he becomes the Antichrist, which he will reveal to himself to the public after the rapture of the church and join the seven year tribulation. And that's why, sorry, I just had to um, say this for the Lord and I had to be obedient unto him. The Lord told me to tell you all and that he want me to reveal to you all so that you all will take heed to his warnings immediately before the rapture comes that Barack Obama is still number 44 as the former president of the United States here in the last days. And then after the rapture of the church, number 44 as Barack Obama is the Antichrist. And he will reveal himself to everyone claiming himself that he has saved the world and he has saved your lives away from missiles 
attempting to attack and to destroy America and all nations from other nations. So yes, Barack Obama is still number 44 as the former president of the United States here in the last days and that he will reveal himself after the rapture of the church as the Antichrist. He will no longer run as the new president of the United States after the rapture of the church, but that he will become and that he is planning to become a one world dictator by using his own powers from the beast system and that he will no longer use the Republican and Democrats here in the United States of America anymore. And yes, he will use the president to gain control over America and that he will use the president as part of his kings and queens just in case whoever wins the election. And that the Antichrist will use that king as a new world order president of the United States. That means that there will be no peace and no security and no safety that will happen after the rapture of the church and during the seven year tribulation. And that a lot of people will become very scared to whoever the new world order president of the United States will be after the rapture of the church. And that the new world order president of the United States will gain control over America and that, and that he or she will be used by the Antichrist to take over America and to work with him to take over the world as a dictator. And that he will use them to share his speech to everyone. That he wants to remove all guns and knives and all weapons away from people during the seven year tribulation. And that the Antichrist is a liar and that he is using Russia and China to invade and to destroy America. And that's why America will end up becoming defenseless to fight against Russia and China invasions, including civil war invasions here in America during the seven year tribulation. And then sad sadly, a lot of people will lose their lives during the seven year tribulation from World War Three, from civil wars and from the wrath of God during the seven year tribulation full and full of God's wrath, non-stop God's wrath. So, yes, he will reveal himself to the public and to everyone around the world after the rapture of the church, according to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 to 12. And that once again, he is the one who saves all people's lives and that he is the one who saved the world and that he and that when the first and that's when the first seal will open as part of God's wrath in America and all around the world. Now the Bible says on Revelation chapter six, verse one and two, and it says, Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seal, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see, and I look, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. And that's Revelation chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. So after the rapture of the church and during the seven year tribulation, the Antichrist once again will reveal himself, who he is, and that he will crown himself, making himself as a victor as a victor towards all people and all nations. And that means he will not crown to anyone. He will not reward people. He will reward himself as a hero and as a savior and as a false god to this world. And that he call himself a messiah, which he is a false messiah. And that he call himself Jesus, which he is a false Christ. He is a false god. The Antichrist will bless me against Jesus Christ, will bless me against God, and that he will bless me, the Holy Spirit as well, including the kingdom of God, because he still hated Jesus Christ, including God the Father, all of the angels in heaven, including us as well, and the kingdom of God in heaven. Yes, he will bless me, the name of Jesus, and that he will make everyone 
to bow down to him as the Antichrist and as a false god. But at the end, he will turn against all people and that he will destroy all people immediately during the seven year tribulation. So God revealed to me that he will release his wrath of God after the rapture of the church and at the start of the seven year tribulation with seven seals of God's wrath, seven trumpets of God's wrath, and seven bowls of God's wrath immediately. Once again, there will be no mid-trip rapture, post-trip rapture, and pre-rap rapture to escape from the wrath of God, to escape from the Antichrist and the one world false prophet, and to escape from the seven year tribulation. There will only be a pre-tribulation rapture of the church, which could happen at any day or any second right now. Who knows, but only God the Father knows it according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 to 44, where God is calling all people to repent right now and immediately before it's too late, and that God is calling all people to repent immediately so that people shall stay away from all sins immediately, and that God wants all people to surrender their lives and surrender all their sins unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and be filled with the Holy Spirit or be baptized with the Holy Spirit and also get healing, deliverance, dis discipleships, church homes, and then also attending Bible studies as well. So that way, God will pull you out away from the seven year tribulation and he will rapture you all up to heaven and away from the Antichrist, away from the seven year tribulation and away from this earth. So that way we will not be subject to God's wrath. And once you do all of these things, you will become a born again Christian with the Holy Spirit. And that you must not be a lukewarm Christian anymore who deny the Holy Spirit, even blasphemy the Holy Spirit, and who deny Jesus Christ as the Holy Savior and still only cares about the world full of sins, including occultism, witchcraft, ha Halloween, and all these ungodly sins full of demons. So please take heed to this warning immediately before it's too late. God is the only one who knows when his son Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And that God is encouraging all of us to prepare for the pre-tribulation rapture of the church and to get into the ark with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit immediately. So that way God will keep us safe and protected away from from the seven year tribulation and away from God's wrath immediately. And then that way, God will snatch us away from this earth. And of course, he will rapture us away from this, this earth and away from this world. And that he will draw us into heaven and unto him during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. So that we shall all live with eternal life in heaven with Jesus Christ forever and that we shall all participate in the judgment seat of Christ to receive our heavenly rewards, our heavenly crowns, including our heavenly eternal houses and mansions and that we shall all participate in the wedding, I'm sorry, in the wedding feast and the wedding banquet so that we will have lots and lots of fun in heaven forever with fireworks and everything else as well. And in that way, God will still protect us and he will keep us safe away from his wrath and away from the seven year tribulation and away from this world forever. And that God will send his angels around us and that the angels will too protect us as being given orders from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So as for the Antichrist, all he wants is world peace and safety and security to all nations, including America, Israel, and the Middle East. And yes, he will see the Holy Spirit leaving this earth during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, including us as born-again Christians with the, with the Holy Spirit. And once the Holy Spirit lets go of the Antichrist, then the Holy Spirit will let the Antichrist take, take over the world as a one-world dictator. And that's the Antichrist. While the Holy Spirit is gone to be uh, gone to be with the Lord Jesus Christ 
And of course, we too, as born again Christians, will be gone to be with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as well. So, um, unfortunately, the Antichrist will turn against all nations, including America and Israel. And that he will no longer have peace with them anymore after these after the um seven year false peace treaty uh, comes to an end at the end of the first three and a half years but that the antichrist will also bring death chaos and destructions everywhere however during the seven year tribulation god will send forth his two witnesses to share the gospel of jesus christ these two witnesses whoever they are which i don't even know who they are they will have full power of the Holy Spirit. And if anyone touches the two witnesses and tries to harm them and trying to touch them and trying to attack them, God will use his two witnesses to attack them back and to destroy them immediately by, re by releasing the fire of God out of these two witnesses' mouths and even the sword of the Spirit and so much more as well. Anyone that attacks the two witnesses will be attacked back immediately. So please do not attack the two witnesses. It's too, too dangerous to do that. These two witnesses are friendly and they are, and yes, they will, they will wear a white sackcloth or whatever they will have on and that they will still share the gospel of Jesus Christ and want to make sure that everyone accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And yes, they will do that also to Israel as well including everyone else around the world as well during the first three and a half years as well so read the book of um, revelation and learn about the two witnesses as well and about what will happen um, um, after the two witnesses will leave um, this earth immediately after three and a half years is up amen so please keep in mind that the Antichrist is not a peaceful, loving guy that you all are to depend on to, or that you all depend on to, but that the Antichrist is the son of Satan, the son of perdition, the son, the son of lawlessness, or the son who loves sin so much, and, and the worst part, he is the son of destruction, and that he will destroy all mankind all humanity and all nations everywhere including America and all nations except Israel and that the Antichrist will still gain control over the world as a one world dictator and yes he will do that during the seven year tribulation he will force all people to take the mark of the beast or the microchip and that he will control all people's minds to attack all people, including tribulation saints or left behind Christians in the seven year tribulation. And for those people who take the mark of the beast or the microchip in the seven year tribulation, they will end up worshiping the beast with Satan and the Antichrist, including the one world false prophet. And that God is still giving his last and final warnings even today, right now as well. That they are not to take the mark of the beast or they will be destroyed by the wrath of God here on this earth. Including no longer receiving a second chance of going to heaven ever again. And including being cast into the lake of fire in hell which is the second death forever. And yes those things will happen as well. So please, please, I beg you all. Do not take the mark of the beast or the microchip from the Antichrist and the one world false prophet, including the one world government known as the beast system. And do not listen to the AI robots telling you all to take the mark of the beast or the microchip. And of course, the AI robots will force people to take the mark of the beast or the microchip. So please stay away from the Antichrist immediately. And stay away from the mark of the beast on the microchip immediately. Do not take it or you will be destroyed by the wrath of God. And there will be no more second chance of going to heaven in the afterlife. So, 
once again, the Antichrist is the beast of the sea, and the one world false prophet is the beast of the earth, according to Revelation chapter 13. And please remember that America and all major seas are the mystery Babylon and also and also Sodom and, Go and Gomorrah that will be hit and that will be destroyed by God's wrath in the seven year tribulation, including from World War III, from Russia and China invasions at America or against America, civil wars in America, heat scorching everywhere for those who have taken the mark of the beast, including those including those who have denied Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior at their last minute, and also America and around the world will be hit by diseases and plagues and even more famines, including weather storms, severe and severe dangerous weather storms. Even will be hit by one wood where water will turn into barrenness and poison, volcanoes erupting everywhere, where water will turn into blood and poison and barrenness also. Even asteroids and meteorites hitting America and the entire earth except Israel. And other, other God's wrath to come according to the book of Revelation in the Bible. Amen. So once again, come out of your sins immediately and repent and repent unto Jesus Christ immediately before it's too late. And by the way, that is the end of my that is the end of my vision that I'm showing to you all today. And that, and that the Lord told me to warn you all to stay away from the Antichrist and stay away from living in the seven year tribulation. And please do not be left behind. And do not wait until the last minute to repent and to surrender your lives unto Jesus Christ. Because when tomorrow comes, you will be facing downfalls and destructions and sadly if you have if you end up dying in your last days or until tomorrow comes and all of a sudden you left your body and you left this earth and all of a sudden you're gone by the wrath of God and it could be from violence from gun bullets from severe weather storms from earthquakes from diseases from health problems from fighting and arguing or whatever God's wrath it is, you'll be waking up when you get into the great white throne of judgment in heaven where you will face judgment in front of Jesus Christ and that Jesus will reveal to you what is that you did right, what is that you did wrong, and whether you have committed sin or not. And he will see if your name is written in the Lamb's book of life forever. And please, you do not want Jesus to tell you, depart from me, you wicked, lazy servant, you who practice lawlessness, you who practice sins, depart from me for I never knew you. You don't want Jesus to say that to you. When you still commit sins and idolatry and all these ungodly sins here in this earth. here in this earth, And that's why the Lord is telling you to repent, repent, and repent right now immediately before it's too late. The more you repent and be filled with the Holy Spirit and etc., etc., the more he'll say things to you, well done, my good and faithful servant. You may now enter into the, the joy of the Lord. Welcome home into my kingdom of God in heaven, my sons and my daughters. And he will say that to you just in case you pass away and you went home to be with the Lord from this earth and into heaven. So once again, tomorrow will be too late for you all to repent immediately after death in this world. Unless you all repent immediately unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior without waiting until tomorrow comes. And that God is not playing games on you all. And that he is not playing games on you all as well. So please don't play games with God. Don't play space cards or any Uno or Uno or whatever cards you want to play uh, against God. Don't just say like, oh yeah, God knows my heart. Yes, God knows your heart. But the Bible says that your heart is deceitful in all things. That means you kept holding on to sin, but you wouldn't let go of your sins. And that is why God is encouraging you to let go of your sins so that God will clean your heart and he will renew your heart and he will renew you 
with his Holy Spirit and he will cast his blood on you so that you will be cleansed from all sins, from all darkness and from, and from all evil. And that's when the and that's when water baptism comes in where God will take away all your sins and he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness and from all sins. And of course, he wants to fill you up with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But first, he wants to lead you all into repentance and salvation unto Jesus Christ. And that's when you surrender all your sins and that you admit that you are a sinner and that you and that God still loves you so much and that he and that you want him to take all your sins away from you so that you will receive God's love and joy and peace and all the nine fruits of the spirit from Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23 forever. So, please repent right now and immediately before it's too late, before the wrath of God comes, before the rapture of the church comes, or the pre-tribulation rapture of the church comes, before the seven-year tribulation comes, along with the Antichrist and the one world false prophet, and before your time is up here on this earth. The Lord do not want anybody to be left behind after the rapture of the church and that he do not want anybody to worship and to support and to love the beast, including the Antichrist, the one world false prophet, and including Satan and all demon spirits during the seven year tribulation. And the Lord do not want anybody to die from the wrath of God in the seven year tribulation, including, including here in the last days as well. And that the Lord do not want anybody to be thrown or to be cast into the lake of fire in hell full of fire and brimstones and full of eternal death, eternal chaos, eternal punishment, eternal destruction, and full of eternal torment from Satan and all demon spirits forever. Amen. And choose this day who you will serve. It is either you serve Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and that he is the only way to heaven, the truth and the life with eternal life forever, or you'll end up serving with, with Satan and all demon spirits who will deceive you all and who will lie to you all with all ungodly sins and from all people and that Satan and all demon spirits will kill, steal, and destroy you all here on this earth and into the lake of fire and hell forever. There is no middle ground nor middle, nor middle realm to escape from heaven and from hell in the afterlife. The choice is yours. Amen. So, if you do not want to go to hell in the afterlife, and if you want to go to heaven to be with Jesus Christ forever, by having your name be written in the Lamb's Book of Life forever, and if that's you, if that's you, and even if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and even if you are a lukewarm or a lukewarm Christian or backslide, or even backslide away from God and into all ungodly sins before the pre-tribulation rapture of the church comes, then please, please say this simple repentance and salvation prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that you died upon the cross for all my sins and that you are buried and that you are raised from the, from the dead the third day, so that I shall be saved. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my life and for dying on the cross for all my sins. I accept you now as my Lord and my Savior. Wash me, cleanse me, protect me, and cover me with your blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit, with spiritual fire, and with your spiritual gifts. I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior, and I also accepted you, Lord Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. For your word says on Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, Ask, and shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. So, Father, pour out your Holy Spirit into my life by giving me tongues to speak and tongues to pray in the Holy Spirit so that I shall receive your Holy Spirit from you, Lord Jesus, and the mighty name of Jesus. And I receive your Holy Spirit right now, and I also accepted your Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. I am yours, and you are mine. Amen and amen. 
Now the Bible says on Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So once again, congratulations and welcome to the heavenly kingdom family. And yes, you are right you're ready for the returning and for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, including the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Amen. So now I encourage you all to find a church home that share the gospel of Jesus Christ and that lead all people and all lost souls, all the souls, unto salvation, along with baptism of the Holy Spirit, water baptism, healing, deliverance, discipleships, church homes and even attending bible studies as well and i also encourage you all to read the book of john in the bible to learn more about jesus christ as your lord and savior and also read the book of acts to learn more about the holy spirit and how to receive the baptism of the holy spirit as well and then also read the book of psalms and proverbs to get in the bible to to get more of god's wisdom so that god will teach you all how to live right with him against living wrong with satan and all demon spirits including all ungodly sins and then finally read the rest of the bible so that so that way you all can learn more about god's creation of heaven and earth including us that's you and me as human beings our lord and our savior jesus christ including the holy spirit other bible characters that still existed here on this earth long long time ago and the revealing of what's to come in the future from the book of revelation in the bible amen so remember jesus christ is coming back soon like a thief in the night unexpectedly and immediately according to matthew chapter 24 verse 36 to 44 first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 to 18 and then finally first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 to 11 and so that way we shall all be changed with a twinkling of an eye from our physical bodies and into our spiritual bodies and that we shall all be raptured up and that we shall all be caught up and that we shall all be snatched away from this earth and into heaven to meet with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to be with him forever along with living with eternal life in heaven where we will all receive our heavenly eternal houses and mansions and also attending the, the judgment seat of Christ to receive our heavenly rewards and our heavenly crowns and also attending his um, wedding feast and his wedding banquet where we shall have lots and lots of fun with all of them both Jesus Christ God the Father even the Holy Spirit and all of angels and everyone else who misses us and who loves us and who already passed away from us as well here on this earth. And that we will no longer have any spots and wrinkles and all ungodly sins unto our, into our white garments ever again. So please understand that to be ready, you must avoid having all spots and wrinkles and all ungodly sins unto your white garment. You must repent immediately and be filled or be baptized with the holy spirit with healing deliverance water baptism etc immediately before it's too late amen so continue on sharing the gospel of jesus christ to everyone both in person and on social media continue on sharing your retro dreams and visions and all of end time dreams and visions that the lord is telling you all to do continue on delivering his his prophetic warnings and his prophetic words of encouragement to all his people because it is God who's speaking through you all and also through me as well so that God will keep everyone safe away from Satan and all demon spirits and away from the Antichrist, away from the one world false prophet, away from all demonic spirits in this world as well. And please watch, pray, and intercede to all people, places, and things, including in Florida. Here in the United States of America, everywhere else, and including Israel, according to Psalms chapter 122, verse 6. And keep looking up, everyone, because your redemption is drawing near. And that the kingdom of God is still drawing near to us. Please get into the ark 
with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit immediately. And please get your house in order right now immediately before it's too late and before Jesus Christ shows up on the clouds with power and great glory and before the trumpet sound and that's when the pre-tribulation rapture of the church starts and that's when we are gone out of this world and into heaven to be with, with Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. So God bless you all. Jesus love you all. Peace and shalom. And I can't wait to see you all in the clouds in heaven during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Amen and amen. God bless you all.